There he is, Junior Murray. He's rather big, isn't he? I mean, <laughs> but he's only called Junior, I can assure the chap who wrote to me, because that is his first name. Yes, Henry, Jeff Dujon was the odd man out. Otherwise, over the years, most of the keepers from the West Indies have been Murrays. Mm -hmm. Walsh there going back and looking and it looks to me as though something substantial has been thrown there. He's picked it up and he's bringing it in to show umpire Ramaswamy and also umpire Flo Deer. We had a 25 minute hold up earlier. Simmons is the fielder down there. I don't know what it is. It looks rather a, a fairly substantial object that, doesn't it? Oh dear. Umpire Ramaswamy, what, is, what do you reckon that is? Nagpur is famous for oranges. It does look like a fruit, but uh, difficult to say from here. But this is most unfortunate because India are on top. What they don't want is a stoppage in play. And, and it looks as if you're going to get just that now. Yes, the West Indies are walking off, led by Courtney Walsh. And I must say, be it an orange or a pomegranate, uh, it looked a fairly substantial object, that. And... Uh, we will, I dare say, hear exactly what it was. There's Phil Simmons. It was thrown at him. Simmons talking to Atherton. Oh dear, this is the second time this has happened today. The first time a stone, we think, was thrown at Chanda Paul, and that resulted in a 25-minute hold-up in play. There's umpire Ramaswamy with the ball in one hand and the missile in the other, which he's holding rather at the moment as though he was going to bowl an off break. Well, you'll see uh, Raman Sobar Rao certainly into the act again. Yes, he's fairly belting out onto the ground. I can see him. The and the umpires walking slowly and sadly and sorrowfully off the field. No one likes to see a game of cricket interrupted with these happenings. It is the second time today. And uh, I can understand a fielding side's alarm. Now, Ravi, what is that? Is it a pomegranate? Is it an orange? It could well be a coconut as well. A, a coconut? A little coconut, a baby coconut. But a baby coconut can be quite hard. I mean, if a baby coconut hits you in the back of the head, it doesn't matter how baby it is. Well, you'll, you'll be in the ICU pretty soon. <laughs> this is where it came from. The police, you can in khaki there, you can see. And uh, it's no good looking into the crowd now, really. The chap who did it is not going to hold up his hand and say, here I am. But they've just simply, I suppose, got to show a big police presence down there and face inward. It's no good the police watching the cricket showing their backs to the crowd. They've got to face inward and look and try and spot any miscreant who decides that he can throw the ball further than Keith Atherton, who I suppose is the, the sharpest shooter on the field. Mr. Lele, who's a joint secretary of the Indian board with the rosette there and dark glasses. He's a small man. Mr. Subaro with the bald head and the tie pin. Also a rosette. And uh, here is one of the local officials in the white shirt trying to calm the crowd down. Oh dear, it's a, it's a very sorry sight when this happens. Cricket really the most peaceful of games and it is a tragedy when these sort of events happen to spoil it. I dare say, I don't know what the chap throwing it was trying to do. Maybe he thought it misguidedly was in fun. I, can't, I don't, don't know. But one would have thought that anyone would have known that to throw hard objects at fieldsmen who are standing there with their backs to is not in any sense of it playing the game, Ravi. That's behaving like a coward. I mean, the, the fielder out there has absolutely no protection and uh, it's only a game and people should come here and try and enjoy it rather than uh, throw things on the field. Well, as I say again, the West Indies have had quite some experience of these sort of things on this tour in the one-day series and now the Test Series. And they also had the most unhappy time
down at Calicut uh, in between the Bombay test and this one here in Nagpur. And I don't think in the circumstances one can blame them if they're a fraction oversensitive. The, it's not fun standing out there being pelted from behind by objects that are really rather hard and can hurt. And it's difficult to know what the authorities are going to do now. The police are there in, in, in front of the trouble spot. There are one or two officials trying to calm the crowd. And the match officials, meantime, in front of the pavilion, they are talking and shaking their heads, rather. I don't know what they're going to come up with. On the, um, tele on the intercom, Mr. Subaru's walking away. Have a think about it. It is very sad, this. It really is no laughing matter at all, because no country likes to have this happen to its cricket. There have been riots and interruptions in different parts of the world, but none of that explains or justifies what's going on now. I dare say what all those people are doing really is scratching their heads thinking what on earth can we do? The West Indies will be in their, in their dressing room reluctant I dare say to emerge Ravi. Well they certainly will have to do something quickly because uh, such, such in incidents if they carry on and you have stoppages as long as this. And, uh, Did you have incidents of this when you were playing for India? We had one or two incidents, but uh, nothing to uh, really uh, get the game into disrepute or things of that nature. Uh, you had a stoppage for about five minutes once, but the game really got on after that. We had this, didn't we? I think it was in the Hero Cup last year. In, uh, was it in, in, in Ahmedabad? I think we had a, a bolt thrown. Was it at one of the West Indian players then? I have an idea it was one of the Benjamins. Yeah, I remember that, Henry. I was watching the television and you were doing the commentary and you described that object pretty well. Sir Gary Sobers and Glenn Turner. And there we, we can see this delicate operation actually being enacted. Gary's in the blue shirt. I'm tapping his back and you'll soon see Glenn. Okay, well... Should I say thank you for that, blowers, or goodbye? <laughs> well, I guess you'll get... Uh, I haven't been hearing uh, or listening uh, to what the other two have been saying about this, so I, I guess I'll give my opinion. You can give yours too, Gary, but um, the concern that I have, and this is perhaps looking at it from a different perspective, is that if someone throws some one object onto the field, it, it seems to be relatively trivial. I think if I was the player on the boundary, I would turn to the crowd and I would shrug and perhaps gesture with my hands to cool it and then just put the piece of fruit or whatever the object is back over the boundary. At that point, if they started to pelt me, then I would come off. But what worries me is that when you get a reasonable sized crowd in, and it happens right throughout the world now, um, probably in Australia and New Zealand they'll be throwing cans rather than, than fruit. But, you know, where does one draw the line? And I just worry that, that maybe um, teams are just a little oversensitive. What do you feel? Well, first of all, let me say that I agree with you to a certain extent, but I think at the present moment it's the principle behind the thing. Um, I don't think it's so much what is being thrown, but I think that um, there have been so many things that have been thrown during the, this tour so far that even if a feather was thrown on the field now, that you will find this kind of reaction from the West Indies team because they have um, made it quite clear that they can't take any more and uh, I think this is the reason why they've gone off not because of the apple but the principle and it is a great pity because as Glenn said where do you draw the line this is something that can probably spark not only here but this can probably go on any other part of the world where something is being thrown that the example which has been set here that other teams if they're in a bit of trouble or anything would do a similar thing because if a team came to the West Indies which on occasions we have had bottle throwing and something was to be thrown and 
they thought that they were in some kind of difficulty, they probably will want to walk off too. So we've got to be careful how far this thing spreads. Oh, that's true. There's no way that one uh, intends to condone anything like, like this. It's just a matter of uh, discussing degrees, I, I, I guess.